Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video, we're gonna do something really interesting. We're gonna take a look at Andrew Jacked, and we're gonna try and figure out how much progress did he actually make. Because everybody is talking about how he made so much progress, how he's much bigger now, how his conditioning is better, this and that. So we're gonna take a look at his best versions of the past three years. So first, we have the Texas Pro 2022, his pro debut. Then we have the Arnold Classic 2023 and of course the 2024 Texas Pro that just happened uh, last week. By the way, it's interesting that his best versions are not from the Mr. Olympia, not a single year. And hopefully this year that will change, but as of right now, he was failing to deliver his best look to the Mr. Olympia stage. But I believe this year could be different. Now, we're gonna do this uh, this way, so pose for pose. We're gonna start with the front double bicep. And as you can see, the first year, his pro debut, basically, he didn't have the best conditioning out of these three years. But conditioning was decent, it was worse at other shows. At this show, he was decently conditioned, he still had that fullness, that pop, that crazy look he's known for, but it just wasn't polished enough. At the Arnold Classic 2023, I don't think he like gained much muscle, he was pretty much similar size, however, he was more conditioned. And I guess he did gain some size because he was able to get in better condition and remain pretty much the same size. Maybe he was slightly flatter, but overall this package did look better than the Texas Pro in my opinion. But then 2024 came and as you can see, he definitely did make some solid gains. I mean, his posing here is a little bit different, but still you can see it. I mean, especially in the arms. The arms are definitely bigger now, the triceps are hanging lower, the biceps are more picky, the shoulders are popping out more for sure, the lats are also popping out more, uh, the abs are looking good, like the midsection did not grow at all, everything else did grow, but the midsection stayed the same, the abs are still looking pretty phenomenal, and as far as the legs, I think he did grow some muscle in the legs. Here, he's not exactly flexing at the best, you're gonna see it better in some other poses, but I think he gained some size in those legs as well. Now, the next pose is probably his best pose, it's front lat spread, and it was amazing, even the first year we saw him at his pro debut, he blew our minds, especially with this pose. But as you can see, the details in the quads, in the, in the chest, I mean, they were good, but they definitely weren't as good as they were next year at the Arnold Classic. So the Arnold Classic, he was definitely way more conditioned, like he was definitely a lot more detailed, the cuts were deeper, he was definitely drier, again, not that much bigger, but this year... I think you can see some solid progress in size, especially in the arms, and I would definitely have to say shoulders as well. Then look at the lats as well, lats are definitely looking wider, bigger, and the crazy thing is his waist stayed exactly the same size. He didn't put a centimeter in his freaking waist, so that just making everything else look even more freaky. Now, as far as the legs, I don't think he added, like, a ton of size in terms of, like, I don't think his legs are any wider now, but I think they're having more details. I think the details are deeper, and it's kind of creating an illusion of, of bigger legs. Again, with the waist saying the same size, everything else just looks bigger along with the legs. Now, the next pose is probably the most important pose to pay attention to, to check for progress, because that was his weakest pose, and it still is. But I think the progression is definitely noticeable. So like I said, he really didn't gain that much size from his first year to his second year because he had no, no off-season, basically. It was Texas Pro, Mr. Olympia, and then Arnold Classic that was like in March. So there was no off-season in between. And I think he still did make some progress, but like not a ton. And then for 2024, he actually had an off-season, and that's why he made all these gains. And as you can see, he is definitely bigger now in the side chest. He looks wider to the shoulders. His legs from the side are also looking definitely bigger, more detailed. I think he's now more conditioned in the legs from the side, uh, even compared to the Arnold Classic 2024, but definitely way more than the Texas Pro, his first, uh, his pro debut. 
The main spot he added muscle is definitely his arms, and it makes me wonder what the hell did he do those freaking arms? Like, did he put something in them? I mean, if he did, he did a good job, right? Because it doesn't know, it doesn't, it doesn't show. It's it's not noticeable, but they're definitely looking a lot bigger. He definitely gained like an inch or two, maybe in in one off season, which is crazy. And then also the rear delts, which are definitely adding to the illusion of of width of thickness from the side. And also, like, chest looks bigger, rounder, and he's opening up a little bit more, I think, so he's doing a better job with posing, and I think his hamstrings came up as well, and, like, his, his legs, everything, really, everything came up, side chest is still his weakest pose, but it's definitely improved, and the judges will notice that, and probably, most likely, reward that. Now, when they turn, when he not they, when he turns to the back, um, as you can see in the in the back lat spread, the conditioning difference is what I'm paying attention to the most. So, like uh, at the Arnold Classic, that was his best conditioning up to date until this year's Texas Pro. But really, I think he was even more conditioned in the in the hamstrings and the glutes this year compared to 2023 Arnold Classic. And he still needs to get more condition for the Mr. Olympia, but this uh, this Texas Pro was definitely his his best conditioning up to date. I mean, maybe you could argue and say that he was leaner or drier than the Arnold Classic, but I think like he, he matured, his physique matured. He added like more density to the muscle, like everything just grew a little bit, and so he appears to be like harder, leaner. And also, like, his back is definitely wider now, so he definitely made a ton of progress in the back, especially compared to the 2022. So overall, he's definitely bigger, especially from behind. You can see it definitely in his back. He's definitely a lot wider, and again, the conditioning is very good, considering this is only a qualifier, so hopefully for the Mr. Olympia, it's gonna be much better. Now, as far as the back double bicep, I think he changed his posing a lot, which is awesome. He was definitely taking a look at his physique from these two past shows, and he figured out that he was making a mistake by tilting his body backwards too much. Now, the way he's doing it now is definitely making him look wider to the shoulders. Like, maybe he's losing some of that thickness, but it's definitely a better way to hit this pose. So it's really hard to compare this one, but with the change in posing, I think it looks better now. I think he looks wider, maybe not necessarily thicker, but the back is now looking wider and like the lats are popping out more. The waist looks smaller, so yeah, his back double bicep is also improved in a way. Alright, the next pose will be absent ties, and this pose is sort of his signature pose, uh, along with the front lat spread because of his crazy, crazy midsection. And also, like, his quads, they're having crazy details, but if you take a look at his 2022 Texas Pro version, he definitely did not have those crazy details in the legs that he does have now. So his legs definitely had a lot more details in 2023, but now they have even more. A lot more, honestly, a lot more. The separation is just much, much deeper, therefore the legs are looking much better, and also his lats are popping out more this year compared to all the other years. Now here, he didn't flex the abs fully in his posing routine. On the stage when he was uh, being compared, it definitely looked a lot better, so I don't think he's... Uh, I know his abs are not any worse now, if anything, they're even better, and the waist, again, stay the same size, just the legs improved significantly, so this is also a big progression here. And finally, as far as most muscular, for some reason, he tried something uh, weird <laughs> in 2023, uh, he did a crab pose, and it did not look good on him at all, he can't pull it off with his freaking arms being as long as they are, so no, no, not very good, uh, in the 2022, he had his way of doing it, it was good, and this year, he kind of repeated the same thing pretty much, uh, hands on hips, that's definitely the best variation, uh, so if you take a look at the legs, definitely huge difference, like I said before, and also like the width to the shoulders, the shoulders are rounder, the chest is popping out more, it has more details, overall this pose also looks so much better, so as far as the Mr. Olympia, I mean, yeah, people are saying that he's gonna place inside of the top two, top three, and they're not really comparing him to the guys like uh, Derek and Hadi and uh, Samson, who are like a lot thicker, but really, if he was placing fifth last year at the Mr. Olympia with that conditioning, if he comes the way he was right here, let's say a little bit improved, or the same, let's say the same, actually, I mean, with these changes... 
I mean, can the other guys progress this much? Can Samson be this much better? Can Derek be this much better or Hadi? I don't know. I think he's gonna be definitely the most improved bodybuilder on that stage as far as the top guys. And you know what? It may very well be enough for him to do some serious damage in that top five. What do you guys think? Whatever you think, tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, about bodybuilding, subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned. All the best, guys. See you soon. And bye-bye.